So this is kind of a tough one. It's about reconciliation after divorce. My name is Paul Friedman. I founded the Marriage Foundation and I always try to be positive with everybody. I always look for a way to make a marriage work, to take even the smallest threads and try weaving the fabric of the marriage back together. And we've been very successful with that. And if you go to our website, themarriagefoundation.org, if you subscribe to this channel, you'll see it's very positive. But reconciliation after divorce, this is generally a question that is posed by someone who is hanging on. They didn't want the divorce. They don't understand why there was a divorce. They don't get it. They're thinking, all we had to do was work on this. And in spite of everything, in spite of all the lawyers, in spite of uh, the other spouse even being with someone else, they're still holding on. I'm here to tell you that with as much love and compassion as I can muster, it's time for you to take stock of your life as it stands now, unmarried, not with the person who you were with. I don't care how long you were with them. You're not with them now. Take stock. See what you have. Get a new baseline for your life and plan a future without them. If somehow there is a reconciliation, then so be it. But instead of putting your energy into dwelling on what happened, what could have happened, what should have happened, we are evolutionary beings, human beings. Instead of living in the past or in imaginative scenarios, take a self-help course. Learn something that will help you move forward. You have all of your life in front of you and it's going to be wonderful. It's going to be beautiful, but not if there's an anchor holding you back. And these thoughts are that anchor. Move forward. They say, let the past go. I say, focus on the future. Don't bother letting the past go, but put so much energy into the future that there is no past. Still love your ex-spouse. Love them. Forgive them. But don't think about them. Think about your future and what you can do as an individual to improve yourself. And you will be so much happier. Learn to love. Learn to be generous. Learn to give of your heart, but don't dwell in the past. Thank you for spending time with me. God bless you. Subscribe to this channel. I'm Paul Friedman. Like the video and take care. Thank you.